Let's go. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Lord, thank you for this day, and we thank you for everyone that's able to come to class. Of course, as always, we pray for um, technology to work in our favor. Help me with my sinus issues so I can get through this class without having to sneeze. And um, we just pray for all the students who are here and the students who cannot make it, that they will be able to um, join us next week. And we pray for a great weekend as well. In your name we pray, amen. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is a landform review. Get ready to text your answers. This is going to show how quickly you can type. I'm not going to count your spelling, okay, um, for these pictures. This is going to be pretty easy. What it, oh, no, I just gave you the answer. What is this? <laughs> it's my sinus medicine. I can't think. <laughs> yeah, you better not miss it. <laughs> a low area of land between hills or mountains, typically with a river or a stream flowing through it. My kids have had sinus snot all weekend, and so I think finally this morning I woke up and I was like, great, wonderful. All right, Valley is correct. Number two, what is this one? Mesa, valley, or plateau. A large area of elevated flat land. This one's kind of tricky. It's going to be a plateau. Yep, because the mesa is, it kind of looks the same. So I might would give you credit for either one if you had this on a test, but you will not have this on a test. Yep, it does look more like, um, they look similar, and like the butte too, right? All right, next one you don't get a word bank for. <clears throat> you can probably already guess what it's going to be. Ready? <laughs> yeah, it's easy. All right, next one. Don't get it mixed up with something else. It's a little bit smaller than something. There's your word bank down there. Very good. It is a bay. Yes, yes. Very good. Correct. You got it. All right. Next one. I had to cover up the word with a little square. This one's kind of tricky. This one is bigger than a bay, and sometimes we get them mixed up. Yep. So we already said bay. Where's my drawing board? My goodness gracious. Yep, golf. Good, good, good. Golf. Yep, I think I have a code on here. Yes, we're going to get to that in just a second. Hold on. What is this one? So it's a narrow body of water. It's going to have um, two larger bodies of water on each side over here and over here. Yes, straight, good work. All right, number eight. This looks like a tail, or I think we talked about Superman has one of these. Yeah, Kate, okay. very good. Correct, yes. Now let's look at the next one. Come on. Here is the cove, yes. They do, it does kind of look similar to the, the Gulf and the Bay. Yep. They look similar. It's more of a horseshoe kind of shape, though. And I would think that a um, cove is smaller, even smaller, than the Gulf and then the Bay and then the Cove, yeah. How about number 10? Ooh, where a river meets the sea or the ocean. New word bank here. So it might be hard. Think about it. I don't think it's going to be delta. Because the delta, remember, has to split. This one's kind of hard. This one is estuary. Where the river meets the sea or the ocean. Okay, so here's my river coming along. 
bloom plops down. I know they they are confusing. Our next one. This is a narrow strip of land connecting two larger land masses. So this is the green part. It's pointing to the green part. This looks like, here's how I remember it, it looks like the letter I. <laughs> a bridge. Yes, it's a bridge. Um, it's a narrow strip of land connecting two larger land masses. It looks like the letter I. Yes, because it has land here. Here's the bridge or the land, skinny part of the land. And here's more land, big part. Yes, and that looks like a letter I. That's how we can remember it. Very good, very good. All right. This is a body of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. Well, we know we've already used these two. So, awesome, peninsula. I think I have one more. Mm -hmm. Guess what it's going to be? Yes, the delta. It is also going to be the river that's coming and depositing into the sea or, um, or the ocean or whatnot. And we're going to talk about that actually this week and next week. So um, there's your delta. And finally, I did not have a word for this. I didn't have a word bank. I just gave you the same picture we had last week. This is going to be talked about also in this week and next week. So let us look at our experiments. Donna. Anna. Is Anna here? Yes. Excellent day. Everybody's were very creative. I can't wait to show them off. I sent you all an email, and then when I went back and looked at it, I said, I'll see you all tomorrow at 1 p.m. Easter time is what I had typed. Yes, Easter time. I left off my end, so I thought Easter. Oh, he's risen. No, not yet. <laughs> all right, Madison. Oop, there we go. Madison, I think you used clay. Is this clay? It look, looked um, thicker than Play-Doh. I couldn't tell. I know. I got Noah's next. That's very good. Noah's is next. Here we go. Noah showed all three steps here. He's got a huge space he used here to label everything. Noah, can you tell us, is this peanut butter? Noah's here, right? Yes. What was that? What is it? Dirt? I couldn't tell if it was edible. I could tell on some things what people had. Crack. Oh, cool. Okay. Busted it up. Yeah. Awesome idea. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Here's another one, Molly's. Very good. We have clay here. Everything's labeled. I like the texture, the color. Wonderful. Oh, Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Wonderful. Lillian. Hold on. Is next. These are in no particular order. I just always stick them in. There we go. This, Lillian has hers actually with Legos and it looks like a paper that you, co that you color to use as the surface. And that's a good idea. And we have a little um, a king over here, it looks like. A king or queen. All right, Jackson. I like the way Jackson, he did a overhead view because it looks completely different. I know. I saw the picture of your sister, but I wasn't going to put her in here. She's cute. That's good. Yeah, let her help. Jackson has a picture from the top. So you can see actually every individual piece really clearly because from a front view, the labeled view or side view, um, you know, you can't see it as well. But it still is perfect either way. It looks good. She added the people. Yeah. Yeah, let her help. All right. Samantha. Is Samantha. Oh, she may not be able to. She may not be here. I, I, looks to me like I have Oreos. Uh peanut butter. It looks like a cake. Uh, Hershey's chocolates. Yeah, this looks good. Some of you guys, I've, I've got them. You did some good work. I hope it was edible. Let's see. 
Here's Leighton. It's very good. Um, Leighton gave me all these pictures with side view, um, aerial view there, labeled view. Nice, nice. Very organized, and he's used a, a cookie sheet there. That's perfect. Yes. All right, Nathan. Here we go. We have, I think it was Play-Doh, and everything is everything's labeled on his. I think this was cardboard. Is Nathan here? No, he's not here today. All right, Andrew. Andrew, I think this was a cake. I like the way you labeled it. Um, it looks like you uh, screenshotted the picture and then chocolate donuts. <laughs> yeah. And then wrote each name in. That's good. Yum, yum. That looks good. Let me see what Matthew had here. Oh, Matthew. Is he here? I hope so. What 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 is this? I thought it was cheese or something. Is it wax? Is it crack? What was it? Potatoes. Oh, that was too loud. That is awesome. How'd you get them orange? Oh, sweet potatoes. Okay. Awesome. I kept looking and I showed it to to my oldest son and I said, This looks like cheese which was I was like, that's really cool. Um but that, I, that, I've never had potatoes. That's excellent. See, something that you're not going to use or finished eating for dinner. There you go. This was meant to be just a really fun, fun time here. All right, where's Breeze? Okay, here we go. Um, I like the way she had things kind of sort of all the colors on one side. It didn't matter. And that's very good. Everything's labeled. Inside looks like she might have used the inside of a shoebox. Maybe. I like it. Good idea. <laughs> All right, Landon's awesome job. We have our, I think Play Doh. Well, I saw Play Doh in the back. Yes, it's Play Doh. Um, and he separated certain things. That, very good. And I'm just putting in. Some of you guys sent me more than one picture, but I just at least put one in every time unless they're all on the same page. So I can do it quickly. All right. Da, da, da. Benjamin said, I had a lot of fun. I know you all did. Excellent. We've got everything labeled. Yeah. Like Cole's. Coal used all earth materials, so it looks like we have maybe some cement or something we put together here. We've got some sand, rocks, gravel, little pieces of gravel um, to make for the valley, etc. Very nice. Yes. <laughs> That's all you had, to, yeah. But you had to think about how to put it and lay it out, right? Even. Excellent uh, way I wrote this because I said this is a great way of how you labeled everything. Um, and I could figure out what was what. But my question is, is this a Rolo, you know, chocolate candy, caramel inside? It looks like a Rolo. No? Oh, it looks like it. I couldn't figure out what it was. Oh, maybe a Tootsie Roll? I love Rolos, too. A painted marshmallow. Excellent. Yep. And these are the baby marshmallows right here. Yeah. Legos. And we have a, a container upside down with whole that perfect. Everything's good. Yes. All right, Dominic. Dominic. Graham crackers. Gumdrops. Icing. Sprinkles. This looks like graham cracker, maybe. Is this a chocolate chip cookie that it's all sitting on? <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if we were in class. We could all share. Everybody could have a little piece. I love it. Y'all did so wonderful. I'm serious. For real. 
Okay. How about, give me a check if you're paying attention. Hopefully everybody is. Okay, okay. We are about to get started. Get ready. Guess what? You'll never guess. What does this say? Weathering and erosion change what? Landforms. And guess what we just talked about? Mm hmm. Landforms. And I have something for you. Hold on. Let me see if it will work. <laughs> 